Hi, uh, in this guide I'm going to show you how to work on uh, new pages uh, in WordPress using Divi. So uh, we've just gone to a page here, there is a blank page on this website. So we're going to start from scratch in terms of adding new content. So click first enable visual builder. Uh, and uh, we've got two different ways to go about this and I'm going to to show you both ways. So firstly is build from scratch. That means that we start with a page that's blank and we choose where to put what we want. So uh, it will then first ask us to insert a row. We can choose if it's to be a full width row or one divided into several columns. So let's choose to have it divided into two columns of this size. Then it will ask us for module to show on this side and perhaps in this case I'll have a blurb. A blurb basically has some text, title, text and then it has the main text below it and I can edit that text as I want to using also the tools that are here. Then it's got an image and I can choose whether or not to use the image. So if I simply click the trash can button, then there will be no image shown. I can choose to use an icon if I want. So perhaps this icon might be suitable for us. Or I can turn off the icon and add an image instead and upload a file or choose from the media library. Under the design tab, we've got extra options in terms of how things should look. For example, where the image or icon should be. We can also choose if there should be a border around the image. We can choose regarding the text, how it is to be aligned, what color it is, title text and the body text. So it gives us a lot of different options to play with. But normally you can leave it as default and simply focus on adding text as you want. Now let's add on the other side, we're going to add a video module. So I click new module, I scroll down to video. So here I can choose then to add a YouTube video. So first I'll delete the one that's here by clicking on the trash can. And then I'll click add video. I can upload a video file directly uh, or I can insert from URL and that's the easiest way to do it. So I will uh, choose this YouTube video over here. I'll insert it and then click insert into post and tick to save changes. So now I've put text and I've put a video and Let's add another row. Click add new row. This row will be full width and in it uh, we can choose from again a variety of different things. Perhaps we want a big button. Click here which we will want to have aligned in the very center. There we go. Let's do another row and again full width and we can Put a contact form or we can put a gallery or a social media follow so there's there's many different options that can be used here uh, and they are pretty self-explanatory so I won't go through all of them but the social media fo follow for example will ask us what social network and what the link is to Facebook in this case and if it's Twitter or Skype or YouTube or whatever it is that we want to link to. Now the green button adds a new row whereas if we hover over carefully we can within that row add another field or module which goes below the existing. So if you then got a row that has two columns like this one does then adding a new module will place its text or whatever it is directly in that column. So here is our button in this case. 
So um, it, this gives you an idea of the flexibility and power of the system. You can also use this button to change the column structure and make it into three columns or one column or whatever you want to do. Finally, let's uh, have a look at a few more of the, the modules. So an accordion is always very useful because that can become several tabs and you can then simply edit each tab, put your own title and text in and it becomes an accordion. You add new accordion items that open up. We've also got A gallery feature and you can then add images and it will then by default show a number of images and you can choose how many to show, what order they should appear, whether to show the title and caption of the images, you can choose the layout whether to be a grid or like a slideshow. So you've got a number of different choices here as you work with the tools provided here in Divi. I want to show you one more feature and that is the audio button. So you can insert an audio file, we'll call it test message and then upload an audio file. And uh, again we've got some options under design which are quite straightforward. And here we go, here's our test message by artist name. And people can click play to listen. So this is um, one way of using Divi to create a page from scratch. Uh, I'll show you very quickly one other method of doing it. So I'll exit Visual Builder, I won't save my changes. And I'll click enable Visual Builder on this blank page and now it will ask me how else I want to make the page. I can choose to clone an existing page that will use the layout of another page that I, I like on the website, or I can choose a pre-made layout from Divi. So let's choose a pre-made layout, and there's over 200 different layouts to choose from. I want to choose the author layout, and we'll go for the author about page, once it loads up, there we go, that's the one we want. Use this layout and then it will download and install this layout on this page. And that will then give me the opportunity to have a really good looking page and then simply modify as I need. And we've got a fairly complex layout which is really nicely designed and we can then go through and change and modify as we need. One useful tool is that you can hover over any section and delete what you don't want or uh, you can uh, click on the settings, go to advanced, go to visibility and disable. This will hide it for now. Uh, and then you can always re-enable it when you're ready to use it down the track. Anyway, just uh, go over each part, click on the settings to edit and make changes as needed. So I hope this helps and is a good start to using Divi on your website.